Whatever, el podcast de Oasis en español, presenta a Paul Ashby, Big Gun. Uh, well, that's more of an argument because we've been up in Liam's bedroom and well, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Um, yeah. So we've been up there, me and a the guy, Chris, and we're waiting for Liam and I think Chris spotted the name Oasis on a poster. So when Liam walked in, I suggested, hey, there's a name for the band, Oasis. And that was tongue in cheek and practically forgotten about. And he'd gone to rehearsals the next night and obviously thrown it in the hat and they had it so it was a three-way thing my mate spotted it i said it and liam put it into the band we get down there i'm having a jimmy riddle up the, up the tree and they're coming back towards the vans and someone said we're not getting in i said fuck that so i bowled back up to the door but i can't remember who was with us I had a bit of this two with the doorman and basically told him, listen, we're coming in, mate. Simple. And, yeah, we all toddled in and the rest was history. I don't ever remember seeing Alan McGee. Don't ever remember that conversation. Don't know where he was, but clearly he was there. And then I think two days later, I seen Liam and he told me that he'd been, they'd been approached and they were going to London. So, yeah, that's it, really. Cool, cool. I suppose the most the, the, the most precious things are the rehearsal tapes, um, which I had a lot of. I had about twenty at one point, but I sold a couple in the nineties, which I regret now because it was skint. Yeah. Uh, probably my tapes, yeah. One of them where Noel says, "Yeah, I'll show you how to play the drums on that." He gets on the drums and starts drumming whatever, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, them two arguing a little bit, Bonehead laughing in the background, you know, just chatting away, banter. Um, obviously, you know, the, the songs at the time live forever and rehearsing that, you know, and just generally just lads in the background having the crack, you know. They're, supposed to, they're, they're, they're the precious things. Yeah, so, uh, so, so Noel took the, the drums at some point and teach Tony how to do the, the drumming on the rehearsals. Yeah, he didn't teach him, he just showed him how he wanted it to play, obviously to play the beat, you know what I mean? Because yeah. obviously no one had in his mind what he wanted, you know what I mean? So he'd get on the drums and sometimes he'd get on the bass and say to Griggs, play it like that. Yeah, okay, but never yeah. thought because Bonehead was the man. Bonehead was the fucking guy, do you know what I mean? He was the... He was the drive man behind yeah. that. Yeah. 